won't have a head. Again, these are fragile animals, so just take your time. See where you are. Then, then cut. Like uh, once you start seeing the eyeball, then you know you're you're gonna be finishing very quickly uh, from there, hopefully. So hopefully, 23 minutes <laughs> the longest. Okay, so I know that's not very impressive, but uh, but I'd rather take my time with it for this one, and then on the next one I can go a little faster, maybe be a little bit more set up. If you wasn't popping out of the vice as much. That would be, that would be do better. So I'll cut this ring around the eye. Again, just cut into the skull. Once you get past that little membrane, oh, there we go. You'll get to the jaw. Once you get to the jaw here, get to, as soon as I go to show you, it's like, it's like a little bit of the lip. There we go, got the lip started. Once you got a lip started on one side, you can just work that side. A little bit and then you can get your finger sort of into the back of the lip on most animals but maybe not on these guys because they're kind of small but you can see exactly where you got to cut and whatever and the bottom lip even though you're going to cut it off i would still you know treat it as if you need to keep it uh just till you're done just so everything stays uniform right there that's the last of the eye socket go on this side let me finish up this eye socket gotta see what i'm doing Go. Little flicks. Little flicks. So, still quicker than the otter. 10 million times easier. <laughs> uh, the raccoon's going to be a lot easier because it's bigger. You can see where you're at and stuff like that. So, these guys, it's mainly pulling them and, and stuff like that. Now, uh, I will flesh them right away. And the fleshing part. I've seen a couple of different methods. One method is uh, basically uh, get him on the. Okay, just about done. Hang on, he's about to go flying. We're almost done. Past the eyes. Got that lips being a little stubborn. A little stubborn, but not bad. Not bad. He's a great little guy. These are awesome little animals. Quite a little. Meat. Like I say, they'd be terrifying if they were 12 feet tall. Very tall, terrifying. Quite the vicious little predator. Uh, ferrets are also uh, related to them. They are smart. Mink are very, very smart. They're very cunning. They will kill other weasels. They will kill uh, mice. They will kill uh, small, small rabbits. I'm sure they could probably take. Maybe not too big of a rabbit, but they, they'll probably kill that. They uh, will kill muskrats. They will kill... Again, like they're they're, uh, they're of for their size. Like uh, I don't know who would win. I think the mink would win over the uh, marten. They're just a tad bit, you know. They're one weight class up from a marten. You know what I mean? So if I, if I was betting man, you know, it's kind of like mink and marten. It's kind of like Mike Tyson and Butterbean. You know what I mean? Uh, both are super heavyweights, right? So and. Uh, yeah, so I know it's a little old now. Just get my finger in there, and uh, heck, I can pretty much pull the rest off down to his nose. And uh, the slowest mink uh, flushing. Got coming here. Don't slide into the ground. Our yard's all ice. And uh, just about done here. Hey! How's it going? Oh, man. Anyway, I'm right up there. Sounds like there's going to be beer tonight. Okay, and. Sorry, your dog's walking. Right to the end of the. There, done. So, <laughs> I know what, I know what someone's getting for Christmas. There we go. Okay, so that's the pelt. And I'll get them fleshed up, and then, uh, yeah. 